The 2018 BCS Classic will feature three different events on three different pads. These pads will be the parking lot, the basketball court inside the Nutribolt gym, and the football field. For the team inside event of the BCS Classic, RX teams will complete a two-part event with a 20-minute cap. In part one, as a team of three, male, male, female, or male, female, female, dividing work anyway, teams will complete 15 two dumbbell box stepovers over a 20 inch box with 50 or 35 pound dumbbells for males or females, 100 double unders, 80 toes to bar, 15 two dumbbell box stepovers, 100 double unders, 40 chest to bar, 15 two dumbbell box stepovers, 100 double unders, and 20 bar muscle ups. Then, in part two, for a fourth and final teammate, the fourth teammate will complete 10 two dumbbell box stepovers over a 20 inch box with 50 pound pair of dumbbells for men and 35 pound pair of dumbbells for women, 50 double unders and 30 toes to bar, 10 two dumbbell box stepovers, 50 double unders, 20 chest to bar, 10 two dumbbell box stepovers, 50 double unders, and 10 bar muscle ups. The entire event will be for two scores, the overall time after the individual completes their work and the split time for the team of three after they complete their work. Only one athlete may work at a time. Athletes will tag out from the starting pad to switch the working athlete. Time will be counted once athletes are back at the position in which they started. Athletes must rack their dumbbells onto the box before moving on or tagging out from the dumbbell box stepovers. Athletes must carry their jump rope with them as they tag out between movements. In the scaled team inside event, it will also be a two-part event with a 20-minute cap. In the scaled version of this workout, in part one, as a team of three, male, male, female, or male, female, female, dividing work anyway, the team of three will complete 32 dumbbell box stepovers over a 20-inch box with 35-pound dumbbells for men and 20-pound dumbbells for women, 150 single unders, and 90 hanging knee raises. They will then complete 32 dumbbell box stepovers, 150 single unders, and 30 chin over bar pull ups. In part two, for a fourth and final teammate, an individual will complete 10 two dumbbell box stepovers over a 20 inch box with 35 pound dumbbell for men and 20 pound dumbbell for women, 75 single unders, and 30 hanging knee raises. Then 10 two dumbbell box stepovers, 75 single unders, and 15 chin over bar pull ups. The entire event will be for two scores, the overall time after the individual completes their work and the split time for the team of three after they complete their work. For the partner inside event of the BCS Classic, RX partners will have one event four time with a 13 minute cap. As partners dividing work anyway, athletes will complete 22 dumbbell box stepovers over a 20 inch box with 50 pound dumbbells for men and 35 pound dumbbells for women. 100 double unders and 40 toes to bar. Then, athletes will complete 22 dumbbell box stepovers, 100 double unders, and 35 chest to bar. Finally, 22 dumbbell box stepovers, 100 double unders, and 20 bar muscle ups. The entire event will be four time. This event will be the same for the male male and male female RX divisions. For the scaled partner workout on the same inside pad, the event will still feature a 13 minute cap, and as partners, dividing work anyway, athletes will complete 22 dumbbell box stepovers over a 20 inch box with 35 pound dumbbells for men and 20 pound dumbbells for women, 150 single unders and 75 hanging knee raises. Then they will complete 22 dumbbell box stepovers, 150 single unders and 35 chin over bar pull ups. The entire event will be four time. The score for this event is the total time taken to complete the workout. Only one athlete may work at a time. Athletes will tag out from the starting pad to switch the working athlete, and time will be counted only once the athletes are back in their starting position. Athletes must rack their dumbbells onto the box before moving on or tagging out from the dumbbell box stepovers in the male-female divisions. Athletes must carry their jump rope with them as they tag out between movements. Athletes will have a designated pad to complete their double unders on, as well as a designated pad to complete their dumbbell box stepovers. On the dumbbell box stepover, athletes must have two feet touch the box and two feet completely get over the box for the rep to count. On the toes to bar, athletes must have both feet touch the bar and have the heels pass behind the plane of the gymnastics bar on each rep. 
On the chest of bar, the chest must make full contact with the bar on each rep. In the scale division for the chin over bar pull-ups, athletes must be sure that their chin completely pulls over the bar and not under the bar. On the hanging knee raises, knees must pass above the hip crease of the hanging athlete. 